Robbie Lawler on the single. Lamps it up. Stars. I thought Ben was out earlier. Me too. I when, thought they were going to stop it. I thought they were going to stop it. Robbie slamming. I'm like, he's out. He's out. He was fucked I up. I thought he was out. But he, damn, he can take a shot. He can take a shot. Because Robbie hit him with some hammers. Was Despite quitting always being an option, some fighters simply won't give up. And you have to kill them to prevent them from coming after you. They would weather the storm and return from the dead before unleashing a heavy artillery of fire, turning the tables completely in their favor. Let's take a look back at some of these unique moments where fighters were on the brink of defeat before pulling off unbelievable comebacks, shocking the audiences in disbelief. Fedor Emelianenko vs. Kevin Randleman This iconic bout stands as a defining moment in Fedor's ascent to stardom during the Pride era. Randleman, recognized as a formidable wrestler in the division, initiated the match with a commanding performance. He successfully took Fedor's back and executed what is widely regarded as one of the most vicious suplexes in mixed martial arts history. The impact of the slam led some fans to believe the outcome was already sealed. However, true to Fedor's resilient nature, the last emperor orchestrated a remarkable comeback. Reversing the position, he expertly seized Randleman's arm with a kimura, eliciting agonizing screams from his opponent. It is undeniable that in the 2000s, Fedor wielded an unparalleled influence in the realm of MMA, showcasing his dominance and indomitable spirit. Conor McGregor vs. Nate Diaz won Conor McGregor experienced a meteoric rise when he initially faced off against Diaz. Originally slated to contend with Rafael Dos Anjos, McGregor's plans were abruptly altered a week before the bout when Dos Anjos withdrew. Enter Nate Diaz, a last-minute replacement who officially ignited a feud with McGregor. The fight unfolded as many fans anticipated, with Conor showcasing his striking dominance and controlling the exchanges. By the conclusion of the first round, Nate's visage resembled a Halloween mask, battered and bruised. However, the resilient Stockton native refused to concede. In a twist of fate, Diaz delivered a surprising one-two punch combo that left McGregor staggering. Clearly disoriented, McGregor shifted gears, attempting to resort to wrestling to find sanctuary on the canvas. Capitalizing on the opportunity, Diaz took control, securing the mount and delivering punishing blows. McGregor, forced to roll over and expose his back, fell victim to Nate's expertise. The culmination occurred when Diaz cinched in a rear naked choke, leaving the Irishman gasping for air and viewers in stunned disbelief. Nate Diaz, <laughs> you just shook up the world. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised, my Rock Lesnar versus Shane Carwin. On July 3, 2010, the WWE powerhouse Brock Lesnar was set to defend his title for the second time in a compelling match against Shane Carwin at UFC 116. The clash was highly anticipated, given Carwin's previous triumph over Frank Mir to secure the interim championship. After a long hiatus, Brock returned to face an opponent who matched his physical prowess. The initial moments of the bout were marked by a cautious assessment from both fighters. Shane Carwin delivered powerful uppercuts to Lesnar's head causing the champion to find himself on the canvas. Carwin poised himself to unleash punishment, but Brock displayed remarkable resilience. Effectively defending himself, he thwarted the referee from stopping the fight and managed to survive until the second round. Despite a challenging first round and bloodied from the encounter, Lesnar emerged for the second round. He executed a successful takedown, transitioning into side control. In a matter of minutes, Brock identified an opening in Shane's defense and secured victory with an arm triangle choke. Travis Brown vs. Alistair Overeem At UFC Fight Night 26, the clash between heavyweight titans Alistair Overeem and Travis Brown promised a spectacle of power and intensity. From the opening moments, Alistair asserted his dominance in the cage, repeatedly taking Travis down and showcasing superior strength in both the clinch and on the mat. There were instances where the referee could have intervened to potentially halt the fight, yet he opted to afford Travis one final opportunity to reverse the tide. To the audience's astonishment, Brown seized this chance with gusto. In the fifth minute of the match, Travis unleashed a sudden and spectacular front kick that breached Overeem's defenses, propelling him into the realm of darkness. This defeat marked Alistair Overeem's second consecutive loss, effectively removing him from the title race for an extended period. Like the video so far? Don't be shy to knock out that subscribe button. Frankie Edgar vs. Gray Menard 3 these two athletes had quite a bit of history together. In April 2008, 
Frankie suffered his first career loss at the hands of Gray. Their paths crossed again on January 1st, 2011, resulting in a draw that left fans eagerly anticipating a conclusive third bout. The initial round of their third encounter had fans on the edge of their seats, as Gray became dangerously close to securing a victory. However, to everyone's astonishment, Frankie exhibited the heart of a lion and weathered the relentless onslaught. The second round unfolded with Edgar showcasing remarkable resilience and putting up a fierce fight against Maynard. Both fighters delivered an exceptional performance, leaving spectators to ponder another challenging decision for the judges if the fight went the distance. Maynard dominated the first round, earning an impressive 10-8 score. Yet Frankie had a different agenda. In the fourth round, he unleashed a devastating strike that sent Gray crashing to the canvas. Seizing the moment, Edgar displayed no mercy, decisively finishing off his opponent. Anderson Silva vs. Chael Sonnen won Anderson Silva was at the pinnacle of his dominance when he entered the cage to confront Chael Sonnen. Expectations were high for another spectacular finish from Silva, given his track record. However, Sonnen's provocative trash talk in the lead-up to the bout had ignited a fervent desire among fans to witness him humbled. Sonnen didn't hold back, bombarding Silva with insults and making disparaging remarks about Brazilians and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu earning himself the status of one of the most disliked figures in MMA at the time. Anticipation for a highlight reel moment was in the air, but the fight took an unexpected turn. Sonnen's aggression matched his rhetoric from the onset. He relentlessly pursued Silva, landing a powerful overhand early in the fight. This kept Silva on his back for a significant portion of the round, enduring a barrage of ground strikes. The second, third, and fourth rounds unfolded like deja vu, with Sonnen maintaining relentless pressure. Slowly, the realization set in for fans that Silva's championship reign might be in jeopardy. Adding to the tension, Sonnen took Silva down early in the fifth round and controlled the situation for a considerable period. Just when it seemed all hope was lost, Silva executed a surprising triangle choke, seamlessly transitioning it into an armbar. Sonnen had no option but to tap out, abruptly concluding his dominant performance against a man widely regarded as the best fighter in MMA history. It was a riveting fight that kept fans on the edge of their seats culminating in a finish that caught everyone by surprise. Matt Hughes vs. Frank Trigg The narrative behind this matchup adds an intriguing layer, considering Hughes had previously defended his title against Trigg at UFC 45. However, Trigg was determined to set things right in their second encounter, engaging in pre-fight banter where he playfully teased Matt, confidently asserting he would effortlessly claim the championship belt. In contrast, Hughes maintained a composed and collected demeanor. The fight itself had an eventful beginning. In the opening minute, Trigg landed a strike to what some humorously refer to as the demilitarized zone, but the referee, Mario Yamasaki, opted not to intervene. Subsequently, Trigg unleashed a barrage of attacks on his opponent. Matt Hughes displayed remarkable resilience and a tenacious spirit, surviving a brutal ground-and-pound assault and managed to escape from a rear naked choke not once, not twice, but three times. The turning point occurred when Hughes, the reigning champion, executed a remarkable maneuver. He skillfully swept Trigg, literally lifting him up and treating him to a free ride with Hughes' airline around the cage before emphatically slamming him into the canvas. Hughes regained control, secured a rear naked choke, and clinched victory by systematically squeezing the life out of his opponent. This bout earned the distinction of becoming a classic, particularly in the eyes of UFC president Dana White, who often declared it his personal favorite. Ben Askren vs. Robbie Lawler Askren's UFC debut proved to be anything but easy, pitting him against the former champion Robbie Lawler, a hard-hitting fighter renowned for his dispatching opponents with force. Lawler wasted no time asserting himself, initiating the match with a takedown that led to a barrage of ground and pound, leaving Askren's face battered and bloody. While many fighters might have considered throwing in the towel at this point, Askren demonstrated his resilience. He weathered Lawler's relentless onslaught, withstanding furious attacks. Then, in a surprising turn of events, Askren found himself in control, with Lawler caught in a bulldog choke. The fight was halted somewhat prematurely, with the referee believing Lawler was unconscious when he wasn't. Nevertheless, Lawler was in a precarious position, and it seemed only a matter of time before he would have succumbed to the choke. Sheikh Congo vs. Pat Barry the anticipated kickboxing showdown between these two fighters, given their impressive backgrounds, unexpectedly transformed into one of the most memorable comebacks in MMA history. In the initial stages of the fight, a cautious approach prevailed as both men carefully assessed each other. Barry seemed to hold the advantage in the exchanges, engaging in a back and forth of leg kicks during the opening minutes. Seizing an opportunity, Barry backed Congo against the cage and launched a powerful attack that sent his opponent crashing. Congo, 
left stumbling and wobbling, found himself under relentless strikes from Barry. Just when it seemed Congo might be on the brink of recovery, Barry delivered another explosive blow, knocking him down once again. While the referees might have opted to stop the fight at this juncture, Dan Miragliata made the crucial decision to allow the action to persist. This decision proved to be the correct one, as Congo, against all odds, managed to regain his composure and launched a counterattack with determination. Coming back with ferocity, Congo knocked Barry out cold, etching a comeback that will be forever etched in MMA history. In the unforgiving realm of mixed martial arts, where defeat looms at every corner, these tales of resilience and astonishing comebacks redefine the very essence of the sport. From Fedor Emelianenko's breathtaking reversal against Kevin Randleman to Sheikh Congo's miraculous recovery against Pat Barry, each fight etches its place in history, proving that in the face of adversity, some fighters transcend the boundaries of possibility, turning defeat into victory and leaving an indelible mark on the world of MMA. And what do you guys think? Do you agree with our list? What MMA comeback is your favorite? Share your thoughts in the comments, smash the like button, and subscribe to help us reach a thousand subs and keep the excitement going in the octagon.